It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon. You're watching. What the lotion do? You're watching your favorite streamer, Bo the Bub. We're having laughs. He's doing his usual antics. He's talking about emulating Doug Doug and yoinking and twisting like Ludwig. What Ludwig taught him best. Hitting the Luddy and more. Doing it better. When all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the screen flashes white and you're pulled in to your computer. Oh my goodness. Three chosen adventurers are suddenly sucked in. In. Yes, folks, we're doing it. We're doing an isekai. <laughs> Standing before you, a beautiful armor clad woman. She says, Thank goodness. I can't believe it. It actually worked. Whistles asterisk. <laughs> you. She looks at you, confused. Oh, legendary adventurer. I was told you would be able to speak my language. Nice shoes, me lady. <laughs> Hello, my lady. Even though she is wearing like a full armor plate, you can tell from her stature, she is a warrior. I think I left my sink running at home. Perhaps you could explain that to me another time. Hey lady, but where there, are we right now? There are, pardon my rudeness, adventurers. We used our most illustrious magic to summon you here in our time of need. The land, the kingdom of Eldoria is under siege. I've done my job here. The king can explain more to you. As she's ushering you out of the room, you do notice they were three bodies covered, being dragged away by soldiers into the opposite end of the room. Who's the dead guys? I will respect you with and answer this one question, but time is of the essence. As I said, this is some illustrious illustrious forbidden magic and well three brave knights sacrificed themselves so you legendary heroes could be here you you deserve to know that much but please everything that is good and everything that is holy is is under threat when i take a knee she thinks she's called upon the right people you enter this grand throne room and before you sheesh this man the king he's handsome the king's guard says now approaching princess elaria along with the three legendary heroes legendary heroes this is king eldor and he actually bows and all the other knights bows elaria she bows at you take a bow everyone's just bowing i apologize for summoning you from whence you came whatever time whatever place that may be but my kingdom is in peril there is an evil growing in this land and they seek to destroy all that is good i have summoned the three of you here to repel this darkness from our lands i bagged groceries in my world anything's better than there he does not know what to make of that at all the, some of the soldiers behind you are like grocery groceries legendary heroes he glares at the soldiers although everyone's bowing at you they just feel his presence and they, they shut up there is an evil man trying to do a ritual not much unlike ours but instead is trying to summon a demon in three days time the stars will align such that he is able to perform his sacred ritual and bind a dark demon a dark lord to this world only death and destruction await us we have sent many nights after him and alas they have failed Failed. We have sent someone very precious near and dear to us, and it does not seem enough. It is our plan to confront his forces, and in doing so, drawing them out. This Dark Lord certainly will not meet us on the battlefield. Too full of hubris. Everything we've gathered to this point suggests he will wait out the storm, he will send his troops, and he will perform the ritual the comfort of his own dark domain. And so while the princess and I draw out his troops, we want you to infiltrate the Dark Tower and to stop him and his ritual before it is too late. Legendary heroes, help us! And this time, not only does he bow, but his head is kissing the ground. His crown falls off his head and just tumbles on the floor. Everyone else in the room follows suit and they are on their hands and knees. What do you say to this king? Sure, sure, no problem. Why did I turn into a woman though? I pick up the crown and tell him you have my bow. This I'm glad I got turned into a six feet five inches hunk of a man. Okay, apparently you're six foot five. He seems to not have these answers. Princess Alaria says, the forbidden magic works in mysterious ways. We are not sure why your stature is the way it is. To the best of our knowledge, it would amplify your physique and your skills that you exude from your own world. I'm not complaining. This is way better than before. You have my word, princess. I will vanquish the Dark Lord in your honor. Oh, and yours too, my lord. The Lord gets up. He takes his crown. He says, thank you. Please, I would like you to become acclimated to your new bodies. Three of my Kingsguard will be waiting to test your mettle. So the king takes a seat back on his throne and Alaria, you know, nods at the king and she says, right this way. Please, Princess Alaria hands you three uh, training weapons. I will stand in front, don't worry. Strategist, archer, warrior. So there's a front line and a back line. You guys are on the front line. 
I've calculated 1,000 moves already. Big brain. All right, with that being said, strategist, what is your first move? Princess Alaria is puzzled. This guy who's seemingly unarmored without a weapon is in the front line. What does he do? Cast ice wall to protect myself. Ooh, I like that. The strategist puts his hands together. All of a sudden, flakes start to appear and- Watch this, Ilaria. A giant ice wall appears in front of him. It's glistening. It looks sturdy. He can still see through it. Archer, Joker's wild. What do you want to do? I shoot an arrow at the guy in front of me. Dang, he doesn't even want to whip out any skills. Your goes in dry. Okay. Oh my god! The archer, looking confident as ever, takes his practice arrow. I see. It. Smart to gauge your power. With such ease, he lets it loose. It hits the king's guard square in the chest. Despite being a practice arrow, he puts his hand to his chest. I use my taunt. Come at me, you little baby boys. No! Oh, all of them are like, what? We are royal members of the king's guard. We are not boys. You have them eating out of your hand. They are ready to swing. Yeah. Guard one takes a swing at the, the warrior. He let the anger get the best of him. And the warrior easily just sidestepped the slash. King's guard number two goes in for a quick follow-up. And once again, the warrior sidesteps to the left this time, making them look like child's play. The third King's guard says, you fools, don't make us look bad. And the third King's guard, ha, you- That's the best you can do. With your arm guard, you actually just deflect him. Did Let's. they send the worst of the worst? Thinking to myself, asterisk. Top of the order. I shoot fire from above at the closest warrior. All right, the strategist changes his hand formation. Red aglow appears and just shoots over, up and over the ice wall and hits the guard closest to you. Ah, ugh, duh. Jesus Christ. Elaria's like, this is supposed to be a sparring. I might have misgaged my own power. Archer, you're up next. Arrow storm spell at all guards. The man on fire is having a bad day at work. Three bows out of his practice quiver. Elaria's like, what? She's like, nani? Oh my god! I wink at Elyra. The first guard is able to dodge barely. The second archer gets hit with the practice arrow. Ugh. Once again, he grunts. He's like, what the heck? And the third king's guard gets absolutely pounded in the dome. He is on the floor. The third king's guard is donezo. Holy. This I guess I don't know my own skill. The first king guard tries to collect himself. Oh my god! I am a member of the King's Guard. I will not disgrace his majesty. He shifts his focus to the archer. He takes a swing at the archer. So he connects very nicely. The second King's Guard. My ribs. The second King's Guard is still enraged at the warrior. Swings at you. He has a nice wide arc, but it's quite predictable. They clash, no damage taken whatsoever. I will pummel strike the enemy in front of me. Wait, what the, wait, hold on guys. Hello, this is Dan from the next room over. Can you be quiet for two minutes? Almost like 2 a.m. and I can still hear you. I've had a hard day doing real work for 13 hours and all I want is a bit of peace and quiet. Lol, just kidding. It's Tanner from high school again. Enjoy playing your kids game while I'm out hanging out with Becca. We're watching reruns of that time you lost that video game tournament. Peace out. Darn you, Tanner! LOL. Unfortunately, your pommel strike did not go through. He redeemed himself for his country. Oh Clutched no, up. I missed. He I cast restoration to our red-haired archer. Oh my god! Jesus Christ, what are these rolls? Hands illuminate a shining bright light as rays flow over and rejuvenate your comrade. Not only is the archer healed, you feel ready and ready to go, even more so than ever. You have an advantage on your next attack or spell or whatever you choose to do. Thank you, AYOJ. Let's go. Quick draw at guard in front of me. This is the second arrow. You draw quick succession, one at the, the other, and that guard gets hit twice in the row. Boom, boom! The guard is knocked unconscious. After this first encounter, this might be a six hour long campaign. Back at ten it. Ten hours called it. Not ten hours! Dear God, not ten we hours. Prop Archer is popping off. Jesus Christ. Warrior, it's your turn. I will slap him with my sword. <laughs> slap Attack. Him. Okay, here we go! You strike him right across the face as if slapping him. Ugh. He swings at you. 
He is too enraged. He is too embarrassed. And once again, you deflect very easily. I'll step back and let Volt Monster take care of. No need to humiliate him anymore. I paw my turn. Okay, he paw his turn. Warrior, it's up to you. And Alaria's like, oh, okay, 1v1. How honorable. Let this be a fair fight for honor. Attack. Volt Monster has been dip, dive, dodging, deflecting. Slap this dude and goes in for another attack. Gets a solid clean strike and the king's guard is knocked flat on his butt. The three guards, they kneel to you. Legendary warriors, please save our home. You look over to Princess Alaria. She is brimming. I'm quite worried for the king. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are just strong. Your Burning king could energy. use some better guards. Come the morning, our armies will assemble and attack the Dark Lord. So, we would like you three adventurers to take an alternative route. She takes out a map and gives it to the strategist. From our world, those that cast spells and incantations have a mind for tactics and strategies. So I will entrust this map with you in three days time. Thank you, my lady. We will make sure our army is within striking distance of this dark demonic castle. You will need to pass through these grasslands. Go through this dark forbidden forest. The names are very generic and you will end at his stronghold, the Dark Castle. Better put these boots in sports mode. So, please get rest. You are welcome to stay at the Royal Palace, but also feel free to adventure the lands and meet the people who you will be defending. If you have any other questions... If I do have questions in the midst of the night, where may I find my laid? Ah, that almost slipped my mind. We need to go to the armory. Epic loots. About to get me some Nikes. We have artifacts from times of old. Warrior have come to meet the challenge, but for some reason, these weapons do not awaken. I myself wield such an artifact. We were hoping would be able to choose a weapon and, and have it bind to you. So please, step forth. Strategist, you are to choose first. Boom! Options. Steps up with confidence. My dear, did you even ever introduce yourselves? My apologies, do I have the honor of, of your name? <laughs> Where are my manners, my lady? I am AOJ of House Star. Kisses the hand of princess. Whoa! Hold the phone! AOJ takes Alaria's hand. You see her tense up. With Riz, of course. She nods. You plant one, a graceful kiss to respect her lady. I am first and foremost a warrior, but this is a respectful gesture I appreciate, Sir AOJ. Our scribes have wrote about these legendary artifacts. We have never seen them in action. One is an eyeglass, and we are unsure of its properties. Our books tell us when one would fail, against all odds, this would help our tacticians and outplay, outmaneuver their opponents. We call that the Sharingan in our world. On the right is an hourglass. To the best of your observation, there is energy flowing around, circling, swirling. It's been used once before. So old that the translation may have been lost. We are even unsure of its true effects. We believe it to alter history in some capacity. Which artifact would you choose? You are not allowed to bind yourself to two artifacts. It will cancel out the magic that is binding you to this world. My instincts draw me to the artifact to the right. AOJ have selected the legendary Chronomancer's Hourglass. As you touch it, a force overwhelms you. Your eyes go white, much like the force of light that drew you here. You hear a faint voice in your ear, but a whisper, and the energy oh. fades. That glimpse of light gave you one understanding into the artifact. You get the feeling that it will slow down your opponent, such that you have extra time to react. You may call me Joker of Clan Wildcards Princess. Joker, before you, on your left is the Radiant Celestial Bow, and on your right is the legendary Fiery Phoenix Wing Bow. The bow on the left, attack after attack, only made them stronger, whereas the bow on the right in darkest hour, this bow has granted them strength. So please tell me which bow you would like to choose. Left. He takes the celestial bow. Man of little words, huh? As your eyes glow white, you hear a voice in your head. Oh, chosen warrior, take our might of every user before this. Cleanse this land of evil. Quivers will no longer hold you back as the light will pierce as arrows itself. Attack with ruthlessness. The more the light guides the arrows to their prey. Warrior, before you is a beautiful sword and shield and a beautiful claymore. Sup, I am Volt Monster, the most handsome man in the land. Well, 
not anymore, I guess. You are a very beautiful man. She explains the weapon on the left is the legendary sword and Aegis of Valor. And the sword on the right is a claymore she calls Shoudbreaker. This shield has somehow reinvigorated its user. And then the claymore, it has been known cut through the darkness, hence its name. I will pick left. But as you touch the sword and shield, as you grasp it in oh your hand. Oh my god! As you grasp it in your hand, your eyes roll over. You even glow. And a voice as clear as day overtakes you. You are shining. You are radiant. And it says, My successor, please guide our lands. Defend it like I once did. I am you. The last of my energy to you in this time of need. This Aegis and Sword of Valor, as enemies pound on it, if their resolve is not strong enough, your own life force will be reinvigorated. Not only that, but should you need me in your darkest hour, I will be there. And the light fades. The aura subsides. This man actually have his Bankai from the start. Anime Volt isekai. Monster, nice. This is an anime isekai. Of course you guys are going to be OP. In regards to communication, we do have a communication stone, which she also gives to the strategist. We have to concentrate our wills to communicate with each other. I'm glad my party members won't slow us down in our quest. Sounds too stone. easy. Can I get a stick instead? Our world is at stake. I would please prefer if you use this weapon. Cool. In order to communicate, you will have to concentrate. But if our will isn't strong, Strong enough, the communication will not succeed. And then she also gives you one health pot each. We have been fighting a battle for a very long time. Our resources are running low. This is more than what we can afford. Some have ruled against it, but the, the king and I have overruled them. My lady, I will cherish this gift. I will take a deeper look at the map and understand the lay of the land. Do you want to rest at the castle in this luxurious place, or do you want to rest at the tavern slash inn? I leave it to the team. IOJ will decide. Let's rest at the tavern. Tavern. All right. I need my warrior at a comfortable place of his choosing. Your arrival to the land has been announced. People will be eager to see you, and it'll be a great morale boost. I'm sure the warriors, the people, would like to see the heroes who have come to this land to fight for them. I believe that to be a, an honorable and amazing choice. As you walk to the tavern... Thank you, princess. Ilaria. Please have us in your thoughts and pray for our success. I will pray for you. Bye bye, princess. There was news of your arrival and people, children are forming droves to see you guys. There is Kingsguard after Kingsguard forming up to prevent a, you know, a stampede slowly from like a mumbling, mumbling as people gather as children with their eyes brightened up and they're like pointing. They're like, oh my God, so cool. Oh my God, so pretty. Wow. Oh, look at that's the sword. Reminds Valor. me of the pop stars back in my world. World. We read about that. They're pointing at your weapons and everyone's like, oh my god. You hear murmurs, what you're equipped with, how beautiful you are, clapping and cheering like, yes, save our land, please. And some little kid is like, you can do this. Stop I wave this. and smile to the crowd. Finally, you make it to Tavern. This is the most well-known tavern in our kingdom. They will treat you as they treat royalty. Fill yourself to your delight. The patrons in it should cause you no trouble. Head inside. Find the most quiet place to study the map. You're inside. This place is beautiful. The food makes your mouth water. The barkeep, which I didn't prepare a token for, has a table set up for you guys right this way. And you see the patrons, a high profile clientele, very flashy looking armor, some battle scarred individuals. There are some people that just look like they've seen some ish. Some people that just look like straight royalty. But it is clearly a tavern for people of the highest caste. It's clearly a tavern for people who are about to go out to war. Meanwhile, AOJ analyzes the map. AOJ looks at the map. It is a crude map. He forgot I'm illiterate. AYOJ, I think you have it upside down. <laughs> The barkeep brings you the best food, the finest food on the menu, a huge variety, a huge smorgasbord. There is a layout. They bring you all kinds of drinks, both alcoholic and non-alcoholic. They're like, don't be shy. We're just going to hook you up at the works. I not, start not, not stuffing like my face with food while she speaks. Oh, wow. What an appetite. <laughs> Hold on. You start stuffing your face. Puts map oh down. God. Began eating and drinking wine. Volt Monster is insane. You are scarfing down food. Everyone is looking at you. They're like, 
like, is this how Legends eats plate after plate just demolished? You can see the chef peek out. The chef is like, oh, so honored and just gets back to cooking immediately. You drink, you are gluttonous. You start pounding them back. Being summoned can make a person quite hungry. Pounding. I appreciate this kind gesture and will enjoy every bite. Joker's eating. Finally, there is one individual. He comes out of his chair. He is a little wobbly. And they're like, yeah. Volt monster, you're eating the plates too. Everyone is like, kick their butts. You got this. You guys better do your jobs. Everyone's just pumping you up. Everyone's like getting into it. But one guy comes out the woodworks and he just slams his fist on the table. You guys don't look that tough. You're just a gluttonous fool. And you, you need eyeglasses. How pathetic. I have perfect vision. And you, and you look silly. Everyone else is like hype. Everyone's like, yeah, eat the drink. Woo. And this one guy just comes and disrespects you guys. You want a challenge? I don't stop eating and let the team handle him. Do I want a challenge? <laughs> We're all good to die anyway. So if I take down a legendary warrior with me, at least I go down a legend myself. Let's take this out east. The barkeep, guards, guards, get in here. Immediately, the guards come in and just manhandle him, just completely restrained. And he's like, no, let me out of him. He's nothing. No. And the guards just silent for him, gag him up and just haul him off. And everyone's like, yeah, get out of here. Um, and he says, please have mercy on him. Obviously, that does not excuse his behavior, but um, there's a statue of his, his brother being built uh, as we speak. Should we all survive the coming storm? One it is a very stressful time. It is okay. His brother was one of those who volunteered to get you here. Forgive him. Lucky. His brother's sacrifice will not be in vain. And so I, I apologize. That's that. Anyone? I rest. Let's call it. Yawn. All right, everyone, we need to be well rested for this journey. It is of utmost importance. Very good. So at a reasonable hour, everyone's like, oh, come on. It's still early. They're jeering at you and the bar keeps like, everyone needs their rest. Call it's last call and Anyway, I was like, ah. Oh no! You hear outside. Please, please, I just want to see them. And then there's a guard. No way, kid. And you hear a couple like small little voices. No, we, we just want to see them. I got to the door and wave at the kids. I don't <laughs> care about the kids. I go to bed. <laughs> I give the kid the piece of candy that came in my pocket when I was summoned. They are being yoinked by their collar. I summon a gust of wind to carry the candy to his hands. Oh my god! What is with you guys? You had candy from the dimension that you came from. Comes out of your pocket. There was multiple kids. It multiplies. We are too overpowered. The guards don't notice anything. The guards are just doing their duty. But three pieces of candy just hover in front of the kid's face and then drop into their hands and they smile and they're all just cheering. And they're like, you guys got this. You will win. Jesus Christ, I cannot do kid voices. We're using up our luck early. Yeah, Volt knows. Jay, you feel really darn good about what you did. You feel something good in store is going to happen to you to tomorrow. You go to bed with a nice smile on your face. Everyone else goes to bed. Joker got a nice wave in. They got to see or uh, they got to see the legendary archer. They saw the strategist guy gave them candy. Let's rock and roll. There is a crowd of people. Everyone's cheering. Guards are lined up all the way out until you leave the city. A massive roar. <laughs> May these legendary heroes have success in their journey. We have sacrificed much to get here. We have faced hardship after hardship, time after time. Nothing has seen our way. It is our turn to fight back. We finally have an edge that the Dark Lord will not see coming. Finally, for counterattack, and you see soldiers all in line behind you. For Princess order. Ilaria. They are forming their own army camp, and you guys part ways. This is a long journey. You followed the map to the grasslands, and your journey continues now. I would like to remind everyone, this journey will be tough, but together we will come out on top. Let's march. See Okay. You Not have my bow. You have my bow. All three of you are just gonna make some checks here. Ah, okay. 
Okay. The archer and the warrior are much more in tune with their senses. They have their wits about them. They notice in the distance a couple red figures. The three in back, imp-like goblins. And they have this red glowing energy about them. Perhaps this is the dark energy that the king was describing. How it was corrupting the land. I yell, are your friend or foe? Oh my god. The one in front is bigger. More hulking in appearance. He is more menacing. The joker is wild. Wild yells at them and immediately they go ah! I shush Joker. Ah! We're not gonna retcon that. They already started they I already yell did at the them speech. as well. <laughs> Volt yells back a ferocious roar. Strategist, what do you want to do? These guys are ready to pounce on you. I use mirror image to create copies to distract the little flying demons. As you concentrate to conjure your mirror image. Some mists start to form. I knew I shouldn't have given the kids mists the candy. Mists start to rise up and immediately dissipates. It fizzles out. Archer, what do you want to do? Arrow storm spell. Arrow storm. Oh my god! What the frick? Let's go. Your first arrow lodges deep into this brutish looking figure. He screams out. <laughs> And the other two, the arrows whiz by them. We gotta keep the hot streak going. All right, warrior, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? Counter-strike stance. Okay. I create a gust of wind to blow away the flying demons. They're not flying. They're just behind. They don't have wings, but you could still try and push them back, I suppose. Your wind is a light breeze against them. I think something was in the food. It's affecting my magic. Crippling shot spell to the big guy. Hey, okay, crippling shot. After being decimated with your first shots, the brutish looking fellow was ready for it and dodged. Being a mindless oaf that he is, goes for the person standing in his way. All right, he whiffs. And because you are in your counter-strike stance, you make an immediate counter-attack, which still has to be rolled for. Oh my god. The ogre with his club tries to go for you. You easily evade it. His arc was wide, and you follow up very easily. He's a god, I shouted. Ignore Launch. the kid. Get good luck. This brutish-looking fellow falls on his knees. Two dudes in the back panic. One of them pulls out a horn and blows into it. He, but he's so frightened, nothing comes out. The second one, also frightened, takes the horn from him and does the same thing. He yanked the horn from his comrade. They are unable to use that horn for whatever they were oh, trying yeah. to use it for. Since my magic has been useless, I use Tactician's Insight. All right, you guys feel invigorated. You guys feel powerful. It is the archer's turn next. What do you do, archer? I and shoot I have to the one. guy on the left. Uh, because of Tactician's Insight, it grunts. It is in pain. It is not looking good. Volt Monster, quickly take advantage of the enemy's weakness. I want to charge at them screaming incoherently. And there's advantage because of the insights. Ooh. The goblins do not react to your incoherent charging. Instead, the one on the left picks up the horn, blows into it. He is bleeding. Puckered lips are not blowing correctly. And the other one, <laughs> give me that. Give me that, please. <laughs> These guys are just useless. They started the downfall of the dark side. What? What do you want to do? I summon ice shards and launch them at the left demon. Oh no! You were able to conjure up ice shards, but instead of hitting the goblin, you accidentally shoot your friend or your warrior who's charging recklessly at them. You I'm the worst magic user in the, the land. They summoned the, the wrong grocery bagger. You shoot the warrior in the back! My bad volt monster. Friendly fire. Ow. I shoot the guy on the left. Oh my god! What is with the archer? Oh my god. You silence him. The Let's eyes. go again. Dead in between the eyes. The, the shot is so accurate. Blood splatters on his friend. And his friend actually runs away. He's gone. Whole... I give an angry look at IOJ for hitting me. We <laughs> must march forward thing. and make haste team. Sounds good. March. To your second leg of the trip. Before the day is over, you guys make it to the entrance of the forest. A spooky forest with aura around it. Let's run through it. Anyone else have anything to say? Investigate? No, we gotta thread lightly. Let's be cautious. We're gonna give the archer some investigation. And investigate. We're gonna give Jay an investigation. You guys don't notice anything. Princess Alaria did not seem to 
to like warn you guys about anything for some reason. You guys didn't ask why it was forbidden. From the tavern, you recall like heroes attempting to like go on journeys and fight back against the darkness only to fail. Perhaps you wonder this is one of the points that stopped them. It is a dense forest with only really one clear path that you see. Guess I'll invest in the gate as well. Vault Monster, you hear chimes and a light whisper deeper into the forest. I point towards it and say there's a party going on over there. <laughs> okay. That's suspicious. It must be some type of bandit or goblin camp. <laughs> and they didn't even invite us. How rude. More like a dance party. Let's move quietly. All right. So you guys go further into the forest. I will tread lightly. You guys tread lightly. Tread cautiously. Okay. Sounds good. Once again, this is a dense fort. But soon enough, as you walk for a couple minutes, now the pathways veer out. But it is a clear northwest, east, and south. And in fact, Volt Monster, that chiming and that voice, those voices that you heard from earlier are in the west direction. So now that you have headed further into the dense forest- Over there, west. I start walking west. Party time. Volt Monster is walking west. We don't have time to party Volt Monster. I take a look at the map. I stop for a second. You look at the map, uh- Oh my god! <sighs> and looking at the map again, you are actually able to decipher some of the ruins this time. You are exiting the forest on the west side, but you're not necessarily going west. Let's keep heading west. You head west. The vegetation gets dense. West. Heading west. Yay, I start walking again. Uncomfortably around you guys. Until you walk for several minutes, until there is an opening. And sure enough, it opens up into three additional paths. You can go back from where you came, or you can go south, west, or north. Let's go west. Are you sure? Let's keep west. Okay. You keep going west. The path narrows, dense vegetation, and you walk for a while. The trees don't give you much room for breathing. And you keep going west, and it opens. Once again, it opens. Same, same story. Do I story. still hear the chimes? Ah, do you still hear the chimes? You, for some reason, you do not hear the chimes any longer. Despite going further west, nothing got louder. You missed the, the party because you used to long to read the map. <laughs> South. Whom can I investigate again? Be a little more specific. Look the same? Joker, you could tell very easily that the paths look uh, eerily similar. You notice on the path leading west, you recognize a unique looking mushroom the last time you went west. You also notice ever since deeper into the forest, it feels more alive than before. You notice that the branches kind of don't sway like they're moving by the winds. They kind of flow, ebb and flow, almost as if they're alive. The last okay, time so you we're going west, in circles, kind of. Maybe. So south or north, guys. Or go back. Yes, south or north, or go back. Maybe go back to find the party again. <laughs> you all go back east. As you go east, as the paths grow densely again, grow back into seeing the pathways, you look to your right. You see that mushroom that the archer was talking about earlier. Can I hear the chimes here? Interesting that you ask. You don't hear anything. You try as you might to listen for anything. Nothing comes to you. Can I hear the chimes? The chimes. Joker, you actually hear chimes. And for some reason, it's pulling you west. Quiet Who should bit. we go to the party? Maybe it's Siren's call to trick us. No, we walk away from the music. So you can go north, east, south. Or I pick the mushroom as we walk away. Okay, that's simple enough. Joker picks the mushroom as you walk away. Keep heading east. I follow AOJ. All right, you guys head east. Same. East. Can any of us still hear the charm? Chime asterisk. Chime, interesting. AOJ, you hear the chime, and it's calling you west, brother. I shoot an arrow to the south tunnel. Interesting. <laughs> you shoot your light arrow down the tunnel. Fumble. And it dissipates. Can I climb the trees and look above the forest? Interesting. Ah, as you are climbing the tree vault monster, you notice you aren't making any progress. As you climb, it's almost as if the tree is receding into the ground. It does not want you going up. I tell the tree to stop. <laughs> the tree does not listen. I create somehow, an ice pillar to raise us up somehow, for a view. Somehow, the trees are very dense. You cannot see the sky right now. You could only see branches. Do you still want to do this? If not ice, maybe fire. These trees are dick. Interesting choice, Volt Monster. Can I talk to the trees? Uh... Joker attempts to talk to the trees. Nothing happens. He just suit look like a lunatic. Wow, they are rude. Try to go up Volt Monster on my ice pillar and chop the branches as you go up. Okay, interesting. Okay, I'll try. Okay. 
AOJ, you try to conjure your ice magic. That blue icy sputtering happens and fizzles out. You can still try and chop the like the like the trunks of the tree if you want. I don't know. Im useless lol. What was that accent? Dang, Joker has to go soon. Come on, you guys got I this. I still swipe at the tree as I stand in cold water. <laughs> it's like it's more of a puddle, like a really small puddle. The magic messed with my mind. Swing at this tree with such chopping force and it rattles you. It does not give. Its bark is almost iron like and you recoil and it hurts. Ow. Let's go north. 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 I agree. You guys go north. Now you can go north, east, go south where you came from, or west. Which way do you want to go? Let's head west finally. I follow. West. Ah. Uh, as you guys head west, the brush clears. An alarming amount of time has passed. It is nighttime, and there appears to be an ambush set up for you guys. They are attacking. I ask them for directions to the party. <laughs> They do not speak. They just grunt. Samurai looking fellow with this red aura and red mask, similar to the goblins and the brutish looking dude earlier. He Must have been a bad party. He, he attacks first. He strikes at the warrior. This surprise attack, unrelenting. The warrior is bleeding a lot of blood. Uh, looking dude, he disappears from sight. And the one on the right, tries to lurk away he's like behind a tree but he's obviously behind the tree he's like do they see me he's like a cat hiding behind a curtain thinking that you can't see the cat but it can see you all right now we're at the top of the order strategist i restore our warrior's health still a couple scrapes and bruises but the warrior's looking much better i go into defensive mode it is this samurai guy's looking turn he's gonna take a swipe at the person in front of him he misses a warrior, you gain a temporary health point. So I'm just going to keep track of that. Trust me. This guy comes out of hiding and throws some shurikens at the archer. Ooh. Because of his sneak attack, it pierces you. Yeah, there's shuriken right in your shoulder. This guy on the right attacks the strategist. Oh my god. But with quick speed, he throws a shuriken and it connects on the strategist. Strategist. I charge up a ball of lightning blasted towards the goblin hiding behind the tree badly. He's not a goblin, a ninja looking dude, but he just has a red aura and a mask with horns on. But I gotcha. The lightning does not connect. Arrow storm. Oh my god! Why is the archer busted? Okay, D&D lords giveth and the D&D lords taketh. So you knock three arrows. The first arrow goes sinking into the first guy. Second arrow misses and the third arrow splinters back at you. Counter strike stance. He is bleeding. He can't move far. He strikes at the warrior. You were in your counter strike stance. Clash with him, but he is able to get through. He tries to hide it behind a tree again and fails. The guy on the right this time, he disappears into the darkness. I shall use my flames. I blow fire from my mouth at the big guy. Nothing comes out your mouth, buddy. I'm useless. Katon! Nothing but spit. You're like Sasuke when he's a little baby boy. Archer, what do you want to do? You're Crippling shot on guy on left. You miss. The tree provides too much cover. Warrior, what would you like to do? Regular attack on big guy. Unfortunately, the big guy was able to block. Big guy counterattacks against the warrior. With the evil swirling around him, gets so excited. He goes for such a wide swing and his wounds just crack open and he collapses. This guy, seeing his comrade fallen, takes the place and goes in for a nice little dagger attack. And he misses against the warrior. This guy shows himself and attacks the warrior as well. Oh my god. And the shuriken is able to pierce through the armor. Warrior, you your temporary HP took damage. I try to blow fire your at the guy in front HP of the warrior. Damage. Cut on this time. Flames emerge. Even though your warrior is close by, they magically bob and weave. Do not even singe your partner. Do not even feel the flames and attack the middle guy. This guy is burning. He is freaking jacked up. Quick at. draw on center guy. The first shot instantly kills him. I attack. Normal attack, you have advantage. This guy is small, this guy is slim, he is sleek, he is bobbing and weaving. He tries to attack with his little dagger, it doesn't even pierce- I'll be the one to finish this, I shoot a beam of lightning at the final target. 
Oh no, not lightning. You try to charge up lightning. It's a little out of control. Some of it even statics and sparks out and almost scares your teammates, but nothing happens. Regular shot. Regular shot. Maybe the darkness is on his side. The obscurity of the forest and the magic you unfortunately miss. Warrior. Attack. Warrior, you were able to glance on him. Blood pours. Blech. He is not looking hot, but it is his turn to retaliate, and he will throw one at you. You were able to block your shield against his little dagger and just push him easily aside. Strategist. I use my armament enchanting abilities to imbue Joker's bow with power. Regular shot. Regular shot. I know Volt Monster will take care of this. It's one dude left. He's on death's door. Regular attack. Time for sure. With one quick fell swoop, zoom, you finish him off. You make a nice little X pattern on his chest. He collapses. Those guys gave you a little bit more of a challenge. You guys are a little beat up. What would you like to do? We win. It is nighttime. Tough to fight. We must take a rest. We traverse. gotta rest. Take turns fear watches. I vote for us to stay in cover and rest. Okay, let's stay here. Day. Let's set up camp. Make fire to piss off the trees. As Volt says that, camp. make a fire so wild animals don't come close. As you guys start building a fire, you actually hear that chime again. All three of you, you don't even have to try and hear it. And uh, like whispers from the forest again as you build this fire. <laughs> I'll have first watch, you guys rest. In the morning, you'll make waffles. Sleep I right tap now. on Joker's shoulders okay. and wake him for next watch. Joker wakes up for the next watch. Strategist goes to sleepy nappy time. And Archer does not notice anything. He keeps a vigilant eye out. And in fact, it's the morning time now. And nothing jumped out. Nothing ooked and attacked you guys. Everyone is recovered to full HP. And you have all your skills back. Let's go back here. You exit the mouse of the forest. You're on your final leg of the journey. There's more marching to do. Can we see the tower or whatever it was now? Read the map. Oh. Oh! Let's look around and get our bearings. The warrior is like, I can see the tower from here. Back. I guess I'm blind. You're looking all the way in the opposite direction. Back at El the kingdom of El Goria. You're looking at, you're not even looking the right way. Uh, Joker reads the map. AOJ looks around. Oh, no! AOJ says, I see it too. Wow. We just have to get past that spooky forest to get, oh my God. AOJ and the and the warrior think you came out on the wrong side of the forest. to go Guys, to the that's the wrong direction. Area. No, no, I know the way. The Joker looks for the tower, dear God. Joker takes you guys, swings you guys around. Guys, I think that's the tower. A dark, foreboding spot. Fire. Miles away, it is ominous. The lands around it look desolate. You look back at the kingdom of Elaria that looks radiant and sunshine, and you go, oh. <laughs> Back oh, my bad. The, Jesus Christ. Let's go that way that then. Oh my God, that was almost catastrophic. You guys had half a day's journey without anything troubling you, almost eerily so. Nothing comes across your path. You are approaching the dark spire. What you do notice now that you're this close though, is on the opposite side of the spire. The army has stayed true to its word. They are on time. Should we use the communication thingy now? The pebble. The pebble. The Looks like he tower. was compensating for something. Thing. <laughs> I take out the pebble. You concentrate and try and talk to who's on the other side. Tell them to draw the eye's attention so we can cross Mordor undetected. Focus with all your might. You say, hello, Princess Elaria, are you there? The stone glows and the pebble cracks. There is no communication from the other side. Send up a fireball. It looks like we got no choice but to follow the plan. <laughs> why did you break it? Yeah, Jay, why did you break it? Can I use my restoration spell to restore it? Interesting. Focus your restoration spell on the pebble. There's still a crack in the pebble. Okay, I invoke my hourglass to reverse time and try again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You are using the hourglass? What do you say? Do I that. take out the hourglass okay. and I whisper into the hourglass, please take me back to the moment before I broke the pebble. Unfortunately, nothing happens. The ebb and flow inside the hourglass remains the same. Damn. Can there. I use my mighty strength to squeeze the stones back together? <laughs> sure. Let's see what happens. You squeeze, and you squeeze, and the stone is shattered completely to dust. <laughs> well, worth a try. Okay, I use my tactical insight to have Joker write a note and send an arrow towards the army. What the f Okay, that's creative. I use magic to leave a voice message on it. So you kind of like inscribe and magically weave the arrow with the message. 
You start doing your gang signs, your hand symbols, evocating a spell. And as you speak, it seems as though words stick to the celestial arrow. Wouldn't the arrow in itself be a message as well as the bow is an artifact from that kingdom? Logic. Princess Ilaria, I am AOJ of House Stark. Our party is in position. It's time to take the Dark Lord down. Vault Monster brings up a really good point. I raise the bow. I pull the string with all my might and let loose. Loose! And you have advantage! You fire the arrow. You tug with all your might. The celestial arrow quivers and you let loose. It's a long distance. But as stated before, it is a magical arrow. It is a magical legendary bow. It, it perhaps has been used in their lifetime, but it is a symbol of hope and light. It is radiant as it soars through the sky. You don't know if it reached the camp. It made it in the right direction. It made it a very far ways away. You don't know who will read it, if anyone will read it. Well, boys, it's now. Or never then let's charge the tower charge the it's tower? time to trust in faith before you guys charge the tower in the distance you see an epic flash of lights the clouds actually part open and a ray of light beams down that blasts the tower you hear a roaring in the distance it looks like there is an attack commencing and it was started off with a bang a holy attack unlike anything you've ever seen that parted the skies and blasted light upon this unwretched land for a moment before you charge in creature after creature much like what you've seen before that must be princess ilaria with her artifact Egg. there is a massive army for forming at the base of the tower goblins that you saw before the brutes that you've seen before even bigger larger stronger creatures that you n did not encounter are coming out of the tower they are forming their ranks ilaria has sent her message of war and it seems lord uh, the party's over we missed it it seems that the lord malgor is replying it seems that the Lord Malgor wants to crush the enemies outside his tower, and so he will wash the blood with their lands. Soldiers, knights, enshrouded with darkness are coming out. A massive army start forming ranks and head in the opposite direction of the tower. One such figure, shrouded in darkness, eyes glowing red, looks to you guys, to your general direction. We get to cover immediately. Agreed. AOJ shoves his teammates into the cover and his, his teammates just go limp and allow him to do so. You hear voices after voices, demonic, ominous things that you cannot understand. Some time has passed at this point. Take I take a, a peek. peek. Both of you take a peek. Oh my god! You take a peek, an army that definitely rivals that of the kings. In the distance, you see them preparing as well. The army that has formed at the base of your tower start marching towards the king's army. We wait until they march away far enough, then we sneak into the tower. Agreed. Agreed. As you start sneaking into the tower, Another flash of light in the distance, blinding. You could hear a godly voice. It's his, a rallying cry to his soldiers. You hear a familiar voice. It is King Elgor. Everyone, this is a final stand. We will stand the tide against darkness. We are going to are strong. We have the gods on our side. And our mothers, our wives, our brothers, our children will perish if we do not make a stand here. Our princess, Elaria, the strongest of us, will lead the charge. Fight alongside her. Fight with the bigger of the gods. And we will prevail. You hear this message radiate throughout the land as you continue sneaking in. You make it to the tower entrance unnoticed. What would you guys like to do? It's kind of nice in here. As you are entering the tower, you hear the battle commence. Cry and bloody yell and just audible, inaudible noises, but you know there is suffering and there is pain. I try to look for the Dark Lord. We must find the path to the Dark Lord. I look around for loot. Joker tries to look around in this dark palace. There is stuff that's lit. It is pretty empty. It is pretty uh, ornate, but he doesn't see any pathways other than that. Jay, he sees a, a pathway in a hallway that leads to stairs. Considering it is a tower, Jay makes the connection. Huh, stairs up. Maybe that leads to the Dark Lord. And Vault Monster looks for loot. If anything was down here before, it seems though the army took things with them on their way out. This place is already looted, guys. <laughs> looking for loot. I see the stairs. Let's go this way. Okay. Go to the stair. It is dark, but enough vision for you to transverse. These stairs seem to go the entire length of the tower conveniently, but they make stops at several floors. Let's race to the top. We keep going up. I would thin keys at the top. You see him with menacing red eyes sitting upon a throne. 
It is the Dark Lord himself. Ha ha ha! It's a small child. This guy for real? <laughs> he does not pay you any mind. Ah 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 ah! You fool! I ignore him and look for loot. <laughs> Volt Monster sees in the room, similarly to what was when they were first summoned here. Sigils, blood stains in a circle, and you go towards that. You fools. What my brother did not know is the final piece to this ritual are the blood of heroes. You saved me the trouble of hunting you down myself. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, war was what he wanted, and war he shall have. My armies will decimate him while I leisurely mop my blade with your blood and summon the Dark Lord. I will have eternal peace on this land. Those fools are trying to stop me but do not know the salvation I provide for them. So thank you for listening to my brother and sister and walking straight into my jaws. You found the summoning circle. In fact, there's a dead body on top of the summoning circle. Is there anything you guys want to do? You guys let the villain monologue, which was very kind of you. But you could submit to me. Willingly. I scratch up the runes on the altar in anger because there's no loot. Willingly give me a vial of your blood and you shall live prosperous. You will join my empire, join my ranks as lords, and live in utter bliss. I shoot an arrow be at him. a world of no disease, a world free from I suffering. I spit on the floor. The light combats the darkness. Your celestial arrow does not pierce. I will give you one more chance. Join me and I promise you a world free of suffering, free of disease, immortal life life for all you must see there's value in my vision all will be happy as soon as the dark lord rises give me your blood willingly you can live or die we will never join a prepubescent boy when there's a gorgeous princess on the other side never that's my sister you're talking about prepare to die i lord malgor will summon the great demon bind him to myself and create a new land a perfect land <laughs> <laughs> okay. He sticks out his arm and out of the shadows, an ebony blade conjures around him. Great voices. Uh, I'm glad I still have the energy. Warrior is scratching up the runes. Oh my God. Oh my God. Warrior scratched up the ruin. His hands alone were not doing anything, but he glows. He radiates. No, what are you? That shouldn't be possible. What are you doing? Stop that. This instant. He attacks Warrior with uh, a ranged shadow attack. Oh my god. Okay. You were blasted and the darkness is surrounding you. This is because you didn't put loot in the boss room. <laughs> A dark evil swirls around you. It is suffocating you. This tendrils almost tentacle like lot We've seen too many enemies to know where this ends. But before the darkness can do anything further, you glow fully and the ruins are eradicated. Light radiates from the palms of your hands. The dead body on the floor. It is still dead, but a corpse unfamiliar no longer. It dons the armor and the sigil of the kingdom of Elaria. You don't know who it is. You don't know what it is. The Ruins are gone. The blood sigil is gone. The darkness that was wrapped around you subsides. Is that Princess Hilaria's EX? Why the frick do you go there? You are not affected by whatever the Dark Lord did. The voice in your head says, That was a close one. We must be careful from now on. Do not let your guard down. This is our moment to strike. We cannot let the evil Lord be resurrected. We stop him here and now. Battle. Formation. Everyone. My hands begin to glow. I enchant all of our weapons to prepare for battle. That is your turn. Radiant shot. Bow's power. Your bow is quivering, but your resolve stays true. This is the largest celestial arrow that was formed since you have had this weapon. And inside your voice, it says, together, you loose. And the arrow flies straight and true. Armor of darkness shrouds. Once again, the darkness appears and blocks the Dark Lord Malgor. And there's a clash between the arrow and the darkness. And it pierces through. And he is infused with a mark of the celestial beings. You guys have advantage. I use go all out. Hmm, fools. You see the warrior. Ah, start charging, powering up. Your sword and shield shine brightly. The sweat that was on your body from all the stair climbing evaporates. 
operates. There is a pressure, an aura about you unlike any other. He has over 3,000. You activated all out. I open all the gates. Pretty much. King Malgor. Darkness surges around him. He leaps into the air so high, as high as the ceilings go. For a second, you can't even see him. He becomes one with the darkness and he comes crashing down like a dark meteor on top of all of you. Okay. Warrior, your shield and sword radiating your blood, your stance, the gods that seem to be on your side. Archer, unfortunately, this blast has knocked you on your feet. You need to spend your next action to get up. And that also hurt a ton. Now the warrior's turn, however. I use shield bash. Tactician's bonus, his own bonus. Uh, advantage to attack because of the uh, mark. Advantage to attack because of his, his own skill. Okay, that's one. That's two. Oh! Oh my god, that's just super bad in RNG. You clash with him. Your radiant shield bashes his shroud of darkness, flaring lights everywhere, blinding you guys for only a moment as darkness collides with lights. <laughs> Uh, you lose one HP from your uh, going all out. You have advantage. I conjure up a giant ball of fire and launch it at the Lord. You summon a fireball. You sh even shoot it at the Dark Lord, but it is easily engulfed in the darkness shrouding him. Oh well. Quick draw. You guys are lucky. I skipped the Dark Lord. Lightning fast speeds. Double arrows conjure. One after the other. And they pierce the darkness. One in each nipple. And you do do damage. He actually moans a little bit. A little bit of a grunt. I knew it. His nipples is his weakness. <laughs> just as I suspected. I use taunt. You're a sad excuse for a final boss. Little boy, hair swish. I will teach you a lesson you won't soon forget, and you will have dearly wish you did not say those words to me. He's gonna make a regular attack against the warrior. And your shield proves true. He strike bashes against your shield. Darkness against light once again. Elf and try to distract the Dark Lord. You put your hands together, mutter a couple words, spirit, energy forms around in front of you. You were able to conjure a mirror image of yourself. Crippling shot. But you lose your arrow and the darkness saves him once again. I use unrelenting spirit to attack him. An unrelenting attack to him. Two swipes. The first swipe cuts through the darkness and making contact with his flesh. Ugh. He channels the dark energy into the palm of his hand. Crackling energy. Everything seeping into his hand. Balling. He shoves his fist out and darkness like a snake shoots out at all of you. Oh my god! The archer is blasted with immense force. It almost brings him to his knees. His insides turn. The dark forces that were helping him all this time, he overestimated his abilities and it even snapped back at him. His power crackled out and like even like singed him a little bit. I use the power of my artifact. I whisper into the hourglass, give me the power to manipulate time. Haha, <laughs> I understand. <laughs> So he starts slowing down. The shadows start slowing down. Regular shot. Regular shot on this slowed down dude. I'm gonna give advantage because it's slowed down. This is the other effects of the uh, hourglass. He's slowed, you get two rounds. I attack normally. Regular attack, advantage. Oh my goodness, you make a clean hit. And even- oh. He starts to slowly yell in pain. With that fateful Ooh. strike, the warrior is slowing down. The light fades. The aura, the presence that was once there, drains. The warrior's I'm eyes still. start to go white. She even collapses onto one knee. But the shield and sword flicker once more. And the voice within you said, I am here, legendary hero. My brother in arms, not today. A shield embodies the warrior. And you stand, please. Use the last of my energy to go even further beyond. Your sword and shield are no longer glowing as they once were before. You could sense the life force that was within them go dormant and instead surround you, your physicality. My hands radiate and I beam the light onto Joker to heal his wounds. Hawkeye. You focus. An aura surrounds you. I attack. You got this. The darkness, the shroud surrounding him still cannot keep up with your moves and it pierces him yet again. And he still cries and his cry is speeding up. I shoot ice blasts aimed at his feet to bind him onto the ground. As time normalizes, ice encases his lower limbs and he is able to speak again and he says, 
Red Wooler shoot. Okay, nice. I have Hawkeye too. You do have Hawkeye. Your Hawkeye does nothing. I remove the all out buff. We health potions. Then I attack. The shadows still protect him. You are quite the troublesome one. He looks the strategist and channels energy into his hand once more. A black sphere attaches to your uh, mirror image. Nothing quite happens yet, but there's a weird black shroud on your dude. With tactician insight, I've devised a plan to have Volt Monster distract the Dark Lord with insults and Joker sneak around behind him to shoot him in the back. Bound together as legendary heroes, you are able to hear, without disclosing to Lord Malgord, a plan devised by AOJ of House Stark. You will have advantage on your next turn. Archer! I go the back of him and use my last Hawkeye attack. Crescendo! Even though this devised plan was done so well, the darkness that surrounds Lord Valgor is too strong. I say, little crybaby can't even finish us off. Woohoo, I go into defensive stance. <laughs> Let me run the calculations. His sword with such power and such veracity clashes with your shield. In fact, it makes a crack in the legendary artifacts. It almost pushes you back. It almost brings you to your nape, but your shield is able to stop it. I create a giant ice bounder and hurl it towards the Dark Lord. Good advantage. The, the darkness is able to chop away and absorb the ice boulder. Archer, you're next. Well, I guess it's all up to my ultimate attack. Then I use sharpshooters focus this round. I use health potion. The Dark Lord shatter the ice at his legs. The Dark Lord ain't messing around. He flexes his feet muscles and the ice around his legs shats her. Water Dragon Jutsu, conjuring up a water dragon and sends its bite at the Dark Lord. Your water dragon came in as it strikes the shadows. The shadows block a lot of it, so much so that he just gets a nice little dousing on his hair. Sharpshooter. Shooter. All right, you are concentrated. You have maintained focused. You are staring into his soul. You knock, you loose, and you slice through the shadows. I attack. Regular attack. He, he deflects you with his sword himself. The Dark Lord puts his hands together. He starts chanting. It's very ominous. The darkness surrounds him and heads towards Warrior. Nothing can take hold. Knowing that he is wet from the water bath, I send icy winds to freeze him once more, thus giving him a weird frozen hair look as well. The icy winds chill him, but he is not frozen like he was before. Lord Malgor is very displeased. <sighs> you insects. You worms. Regular shot. Oh my god. Right in the eye. It does not hit his eye, but it does pierce him in the shoulder. Gah! He looks in way more pain than he was before. The Lord Malgor is not looking too hot. Warrior! As the Lord Malgor is reactive in pain, in suffering, his shadows spurt up. They surround him. They protect him. They are a living, breathing armor itself. He attempts to do one final thing. No, no, no. Obey me. Shadows, obey me. I try to engulf Volt Monster's blade with fire. Volt Monster, even though the radiance of your weapons has dissipated, your flame burns bright thanks to AOJ. Archer, it is up to you. Regular shot in the left nipple. Although the Dark Lord is, is, is mad that the shadows aren't obeying him as exactly as he wants, they still defend him. I attack. Finally, even though you have flames attached to your blade, they do not pierce through the darkness. The flames are still on your sword. I said obey me! Damn it. This is because you gave candy and wave to those kids. Once again, I throw up some gang signs. Fireball Jutsu. I spit a ball of fire at the Dark Lord the size of a two-story house. The two-story house of flames come crashing down on Lord Malgor. And once the flames subside, the, the darkness has protected him still. Regular shot in the right nipple. He lunges at the warrior. Thanks to the radiant bubble around the warrior, it just deflects. The Dark Lord is frustrated. I shoot lightning at his eyes. The lightning, it bounces off his armor. Throwing. With all the power of this land, I shoot at thee. With the might of all your sh land, you shoot at him. Oh my god. Lord Malgor. <sighs> no, no, no. The darkness is on my side. The darkness. If only, if only it listens to me. One more, take me. Take me. I shout for Narnia and attack. For Narnia. Even with that invigorated for Narnia, this guy cannot be stopped. Agor tries one final time, ace up his sleeve. 
The shadows do not cooperate with him. He is bleeding. He is bloody. He is repulsive. He is oozing. I create sharp icy blades to shoot him in the kneecaps. Is this it, Bothers? Does the strategist shine? Icy blades are summoned. Pierce through the darkness. The Dark Lord is absolutely skewered. No, the darkness, my utopia, my perfect land. Father, I, I have failed you. The darkness surrounding him subsides as the life force in his, his eyes disappear and the Dark Lord collapses. You did it. The Dark Lord is no more. Bothers, you defeated the Dark Lord. We did it. This was awesome, Bo. Whoa, well, let's go. I'm proud of everyone and what we've accomplished as a team. Teamwork. Well done, team. Now I must ask the princess for her hand in marriage. Jesus Christ, Jay. A dark figure emerges from the shadows. <laughs> it's Alaria. Adventurers, please tell me we've won. You see the princess, her armor radiant. We have freed this land. Once radiant, once glowing. We won. The look in her eyes before you is a completely different woman. She is alive and well. Her radiant armaments soaked in blood, also no longer glowing. Oh, thank goodness. She looks the ruins that he carved away and she starts crying and she says, Father, you're back. We can take you home and give you a proper burial alongside my brother. Thank you, heroes. I couldn't protect our king, but, but thankfully this land, this land has been rid of the evils. Thank you, venturers. We will have a lot to do. If you help me take my father's body downstairs, my father will be buried alongside my brother. The king, he fought valiant. He shielded me from, from certain doom and the king did not make it. It looks like I will be the new queen. Thank you so much. I would love for you heroes to celebrate with us, but it looks like my spell has faded and you will soon return to your lands. So before the spell ends, at least I would like you to see the men and women who fought beside us, the countless perish, and those who have survived who wish to thank you. What say you? It would be my honor to meet the heroes of the land. Oh, you are calling them the heroes. They will see you as such. Yes. As you go down to the tower, to the bottom of the castle, to the front entrance, you could feel this magic, whatever magic the world had on you. Your bodies start to fade as you go down the stairs, but not before you were able to be greeted by the men and women, knights who, are, who have bought valiantly, who sacrificed themselves so that you can get to the Lord Malgor, even though it was a part of his entire plan. They cheer for you. They roar. The Big. real heroes are you all. You hear a thunderous applause and cheering. You look around at a crazy battlefield. There are countless dead. Perhaps only a quarter of them survived. There are people crying at the loss of their comrades, including the king. They see the body of the former king that you restored by breaking that curse. God, thank you for freaking rolling a nat 20 on that. Freaking, there was a summoning jutsu involved there. Thank God, what monster. Thank God, because we can end it now. You get the sense that you stopped the summoning jutsu. And as they applaud you and the, the queen herself tears up and as you heroes fade away, there's nothing but hope, resilience, filling the hearts of these folk, sunshine and warmth as this once desolate land is already seemingly regaining its color as you disappear and return back to whence you came, back to your seats, back to your anime posters, back to your figurines, back to your tissues and lotion. <laughs> Thank you, Twitch chat. You have saved the land of Elgaria. Lord Asterisk El wakes up with drool on my lips. Gore. Good to be home.